Hello there, welcome back to Selene Apotosis. I don't know what that means exactly. Ah, it'll be in the friggin' title. <laughs> so, since last episode, yes, I'm still slightly sick. Like a day later. <laughs> well, since I'm recording. And I think I'm gonna bathe the cat. That won't do. I'll give it a bath. Okay. As he carried her to the bathroom, the cat stayed still in his arms. A warm and incredible light body thrust against his chest. He was ex accepting. The cat to bring out the claw, except expecting the cat to bring out the claws any moment. Maybe as he opened the door. Now, or as he turns on the light, as he turns the light on. Maybe this time. But nothing. The cat glanced around the new room and looked at him with her intelligent, almost human-like gaze. Not a single muscle in her small body moved. She was curious, and that's about it. She trusts me. She was about to ask him, ask her if she knows where they were, and What's going on? Going to happen next? But that was just too much. Okay. No. So, uh, it shouldn't be very difficult. The two of us can manage this. What do you think? If we're gonna show nudity. I'll have to censor that out, as um, I'm not good at just placing things in front of things yet. I have to cut out that part. You guys can see if you want, like an 18 plus patch. <laughs> if you guys want that, please go support them and say that Nub sent you. Please do. <laughs> The two of us can manage this. What do you think? He said he read somewhere the cat should go, should get used to the new surroundings before bathing. Fear is born out of uh, out of the unknown, and in that regret, regard, in that regard, people has haven't gone too far from cat. New scents, unfamiliar objects, and the splashing of water. These are just shadows under the bed that will fall back if you get a better look at them. He carefully put the cat on the floor. He, she looked around the room and returned her questioning eyes. To him. It seemed like she got comfortable enough. He turned the water in the shower and felt the gentle touch that the cat was already loitering around his feet. She was curious indeed. This shower, this shower isn't so bad as compared to the rain, is it? <coughs> what the hell am I supposed to know? You can tell my voice is freaking going. The joke came out a little awkward. He felt embarrassed. And he didn't know why.
I should now be a little bit more scared. YouTube, it is, um... The mirror! Yup, the mirror, the mirror. He's just a cat. That does not look like a cat to me! You lying bastard! <laughs> Thank god I didn't get the fucking patch. Thank fucking god. Uh, I would have had to figure out a way in... while editing. God damn. I would have to fucking put something on there. I, I don't know. I'll freaking figure it out. Future me will think of it. What? I don't know. It's me. Future me will think of something. Slap Beyblades on there. I don't fucking know. I'm gonna think about it. I can just like slap planes on there. It'd work. That would work. Shit. <laughs> uh, back to the story. Maybe it was because of how the water glistened in the on her skin, or how she was looking at him from under half lowered lashes. I'll be honest, this is no cat. He was actually watching. He met her eyes, and each time felt shame burn through him. But that shame was thick and sweet. He was a little dizzy. His hand slid over her, her smooth, wet skin. And each time, he would ask himself, Was it really necessary? I don't know. And then he would feel her. Her eyes on him as he th his thoughts would melt melt running down her thighs with her leather leather dis disappearing between her knees neat toes okay the bathroom shimmered melted bright por porcelain with light or darkness. He felt he was losing, losing his balance and pulled his hand away. But she returned to press, pressing it to the wet, hot skin, covering a soapy veil. God damn it, game! Well freaking played. She go she go goaded. Yep. Cat person. Thank you for that. He couldn't remember how he ended up in this living room again. The cat was napping perfectly in his arms. He absently ran his hand down the cat's wet back, tracking the bumps of her spine with his finger. I should get you some food. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, wait. Cat people need like special special food. Fuck, I didn't really think of that. Let me see, what do I have? He got up, but with just a tad bit difficult uh, difficulty, nothing he could he couldn't handle. Still, he felt that he felt his body felt uneasy, un unusually heavy, and unwieldy. He had to give the cat something to eat. He will lie down afterwards. And then he'll maybe feel 
Hell, maybe he'll even fall asleep. Hopefully. Maybe he should have gotten the cat from much earlier. A ball of fur with a pair of mean eyes and velvety voice that he could always negotiate with. And that's about it. That's kind of funny. He could have avoided all this suffering if only he had a, had a cat. Okay. So now we're just waiting in the kitchen. The kitchen. Blurry, blurred before his eyes. He got to the refrigerator and opened it. Glinting from the light and learning on the, leaning on the door way harder than he, he was supposed to. If the landlady was around at that time, she would have told him exactly. So, don't lean on the door. I can lean on it whenever I want. Oh, not always. Yes, I do have a drink. I'm happy. After all this, here, her house, and her refrigerator, and everything she should be neat and tidy, in case she has to move new, move new tenants in. Perhaps the landlady would have would have even warned him about the milk. The milk itself is completely harmless, unless, of course, you are allergic to lactose intolerant. But there's a special kind of lactose-free milk, right? I think so. I think there's some lactose-free milk. I don't exactly know what kind of they are. Is it almond milk? Is it? I don't know, but I'm gonna guess it's almond mi milk. I've heard mixed things from friends, so yeah. What matters is the bottle, okay? The bottle, much like cats, can very gradually, but this particular one was made of glass. If only the landlady was here. She would have probably told him not to touch the bottle because his feeling on the floor because his failing on the floor and the bottle might have might break and then the milk will spill and he will have nothing to feed the cat. A nice cat he found, or rather, it was her who found him. And very timidly, timely because he was lying on the floor. Oh! Well, fuck. He had been lying there for some time. He would have been lying, would have been lying still if he hadn't fell, felt the light touch of something hot and rough on his cheek. It was almost like a dream, although, of course, comparing sleep with fainting isn't quite correct, no matter how you look at it. The floor beneath him was surprisingly hard, cold, and wet. Oh, yeah, you have milk everywhere. He felt those three quarantine clearly, and was afraid to imagine what happened if he tried to move. But he had to move one way or another, at least, to see what's up, because something hot and rough was still sliding up his cheek, gently creeping up his ear. He felt warm breath, and then a 
Arsch ist weit. Ouch. He jumped on the spot. A shadow rushed to his side and then calmly began to lap the milk from the puddle. Ten out of ten. An amusing position again. Okay. Safe. <laughs> this guy must be high as fucking balls. The cat. <laughs> you know what? I think it's the best just to end the episode there. You cannot beat the panning the cat. Like, come on. Best time to end the episode. So, oh boy, guys, have a great one of a ten. And a great day too. Hopefully I'm not sick later. So, see you guys next time.